fall What are the state of black men in America today? Uh, it's very dangerous. It's very dangerous uh, in terms of, uh, that's why we have that amend, that amend program, because it's, it's dangerous for, for us out here. In, in terms of what? Uh, when it comes to uh, police involvement and police interactions and things like that. In, in terms of what? Police interactions and- They don't know how to act with cops? <laughs> let's switch that. Yeah, let's <laughs> say the police don't know how to to act with African Americans. What should a cop, a white cop, do if he stops a black man or woman and she gives him lip service rather than follow the instructions, doing what the cops say? How should a cop do when they start acting out? What should the, a white or black? But well, what should first, a white cop do? The first thing they should do is not shoot him. Let's let's no. Let's what first should talk they do? That. Because well, that's what's happening. Though. They don't know if their lives are on the line or not. If the person is acting out. The cop has to protect, protect himself. So if is I... Is that right or not? That's, no, that's not. So Why would you think that your life is in jeopardy because I'm yelling at you? Because you don't know. This person is angry. You don't know what they're going to do. You don't know if they have a gun or not. Okay, that's fair. You, you got to put yourself, protect yourself. Is that's, that right? Yeah, I, I would agree with that. Okay. If somebody is being uh, irate, you don't know what's going to happen. Right. But I don't think that the answer should be death. It wouldn't be if they don't overreact. If the blacks don't overreact. Okay. You so, agree? No, I, no, I do not agree so with that. So the cop would just shoot them anyway? Yeah, there's video proof of that. So the cops, the white, are you referring to white cops or all cops? Blacks and whites and Hispanics and others? Um, I would say the the majority of cops that are, are shooting African Americans are, are white. And are they doing this just because they have nothing else to do? <laughs> you, <laughs> that's the question I asked them. I won't Do you why. believe that? I feel like that is a form of white supremacy to try to eliminate, try to eliminate uh, African-American males. Because, I mean, it's happening to African-American women as well. That's so yes. amazing, man. The it average is black man isn't worth a dime anyway. They have nothing to offer. They have no strength. They don't have any money or anything. What is it? Why would they want to get kill the black man? He's not a competition with them at all. So you, why would white men want to kill them? That's crazy you said that. So you said they're not, they're not worth 10 cents. A, a, a dime, dime, yeah. A dime. So why would the white men want to are take you them worth, out? Are you worth a dime? I am because I'm not into the black thing. So you're not... What, what, what would you consider yourself? Uh, an American who happened to be black, loving what's right and doing what's right. Okay. But you said having to be black. So you are acknowledging that you are black. As the ace of space, okay. but I'm not into it. Okay. Um, it, it's not my first agenda. Okay. My first agenda is doing what's right and loving what's right and treating all people the same. Right. And so with, why would white men or white cops need to take blacks out? They have nothing to offer. They are no competition. There's no competition? What is the competition between black men and white men? Well, uh, if we just look at what history is telling us, there's, not, there's nothing that I'm telling you. This is history and there's a facts that um, African Americans contribute a lot to the Tell me society. what competition, where's the competition between black men and white men, white cops and black men, that would cause white people to want to take them out? What is it that black men have to offer that will make white people want to kill them? It's not necessarily what they have to offer. It's, it's these positions of power. If I, if, if, if I could take you off of your pedestal, right, so you don't even have the opportunity to climb the climb the economical ladder, whatever you want to say, right? Or the, the power ladder, right? If you can't climb that, then my job is, is done. I don't want I don't want African Americans in power is what But there's nothing about black men to indicate that they can do that. They don't have anything going on to say this man can climb this ladder and take something from me. They don't? Yeah. Uh -uh. Do I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a prime example because I'm in college. I'm an African-American male that's in college. But right no now. one's trying to take you out either. How do you know that? I just told you that, that the Black Student Union were not getting the same treatment as other clubs. Yeah, but you mentioned money. Everybody get mad when they can't get money. Okay, it's not about money. It's also events. We're trying to throw events. Oh, can we but that has nothing to do with your race. I got to ask you this really fast, all right? I noticed that most black men are angry. <laughs> okay. Have you noticed that? No. You haven't noticed that most black men have anger. I noticed have that anger. they're uh, passionate. And is that anger? No. 
We're just passionate, just very passionate. I would say that you are very passionate about being American or, or whatever that you stand for, you would consider yourself passionate. I would say <coughs> that the African-Americans, males or whoever it is that you see speaking out on CNN or whatever, uh, that they're passionate about their race and they're passionate about the liberation of African-Americans and the empowerment and the advancements of African-Americans. Define passion. I'm not a passionate person. Define okay. that for me. Uh, so if they find a deep love for something, they will do any and everything to exercise that, that love. Right, man. Yeah. Do real men complain about other people? Complaining? I see where you're referring to. But is it is it complaining or is it just stating a fact? Do real men complain about other people and the situations they have to deal with? Do real men complain about that? Those things? Uh, I would say they acknowledge it. Do they complain about it? They acknowledge it. Now, how about complaining? Okay. Uh, complaining also has a negative connotation. So if, <laughs> if I'm complaining, I'm, I'll be complaining like, oh, this is happening, this is happening, this is happening. There are people that are complaining to give me. A, give me a yes or no. Do real men complain about situations in life? No. Do real men complain about so-called racism? Uh, they acknowledge racism. Do real men complain about so-called racism? They, well, actually, you know what? Yes. Real men Yes, do. because you know why? Because they can't fix it. They, a real man can't fix it? They can't fix racism. Why not? African American men can't fix racism because they didn't create racism. Is it because they're not real men? No, it's because they didn't create it. But if racism whoever, is, cre whoever created, you know, it. I don't believe racism exists, right? It doesn't exist. What? But if racism exists, <coughs> why did black men do better? What under? is? What is? What do you? Why do? Why do you not think that racism exists? Because uh, you, you had said that to Tariq, and you said that there's no such thing as white supremacy as well. Right. So I want to. First, I want to talk about that. Why, why do you not think that there's racism? Because there's... I, because I can see that our battle is a spiritual battle. It's a warfare between good and evil, right and wrong. It has nothing to do with color. Interesting. It has nothing to do with being a physical person. Interesting. But it's the spirit that made a home in you. Do you, do you agree with that? Uh, and I grew up under the Jim Crow laws. Okay. On a plantation. Okay. Black men didn't bitch and complain and cry racism like little girls back then, they overcame situations right. because they understood it was spiritual. How would they overcome Jim Crow? Uh, they did. How? By changing the law. Black people changed the law? Yeah. You know, okay. Martin Luther King was black. He changed, he changed it? Yeah. Okay. It was for Martin Luther King. <coughs> it would have been changed, not back at that time. Okay. Do well, you agree or disagree? Well, Martin Luther King was very passive. Do you agree or disagree so with that? I would, you I said would. Dr. King was passive? Yes. He was weak? Very much so. Uh, not weak. I said passive. Passive is weak for a man. I wouldn't say that. Passive is strength. Passive is not strength, Strength, but uh, being passive is allowing your oppressor to do what they would like to do to you. Your oppressor? And, yes. And what did they do to Martin Luther King that he should not have allowed? Um, what they did to him? Uh -huh. He's dead. What did they do <laughs> to him about? that he should not have allowed? That he should While being allowed, alive, yes. Uh, being treated uh, disrespectfully, getting thrown in jail over, over 30 times. Oh, so you don't support of, Dr. King? I didn't say I don't support Dr. Do King. Do you support him? I do support Dr. King, but all I'm saying is there's different ways that he could have went about it. I'm more of the, the, the Malcolm X way or the, the Marcus Garvey, Stukely Carmichael, Huey P. Newton way. So Malcolm X uh, went to uh, uh, Mecca. Right. And he had sat on a, the that yes. ministry uh, Muhammad, what's that minister name? Louis Farrakhan. Yeah, all those people. Right. And he realized <laughs> that he had been lied to by those people, that it wasn't about racism, it's not about race, it's about character. Right. He came back and he corrected them right. and he was taken out for them. Right. And he, it was said that Louis Farrakhan and others took him out mm -hmm. because he had a change of heart, believing that it's not about the color, it's about the character. That there right. are good white people and bad white people, good black people and bad black people. Right. You like that about Malcolm X? Uh, Malcolm X. Uh, and that's what quality you like about him? Let me, let me explain. Uh, Malcolm X has been through stages. Malcolm X started as Malcolm Little, which was the Malcolm X that right. was selling. Yeah, I wrote about him in my book, that, right? The Antidote and Scandal. <coughs> but then he, then he was Malcolm X and then he was Malik. Uh, what was it? El, El Hash Shabazz yeah, or something, something like that. Something like that. I'm sorry. Yeah. Not to butcher his name or anything. But the Malcolm X is who I agree with. The radical one. Was he radical? 
Is that the one you're talking about, though? Um, yeah, Malcolm X. Uh, okay. Yeah, not not the Mecca, Malcolm X. Amazing. 